Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can add watermark to your Word document. So the process starts by clicking design ribbon and then after that you go to watermark on this arrow here and click on it and Microsoft Word already gives you some samples that you can select from. You know, you can select urgent, you can select sample, you can select draft, confidential. You know, just click on it and that's it. Now, what if none of the samples that Microsoft gives you is of interest? That's not something you want to have in your document. When in that case, you go to custom watermark. Before I go that, I'm going to remove this confidential that I just added. Remove watermark. Then... I will go to custom watermark so I can have my own text uh, once you have this window open you go to text watermark you click on it and then under text in the line where you have text you can add whatever text you want to have in your word documents so for my example I'm gonna have internal use only right let's assume this is a company and I'm going to send this document to my peers and I want them to know that this is for internal use only. Okay, so I just click. I write the text, I click apply and here you have it. Now, what if you don't like the font or the color? Well, it's, it's very simple to change. As you see here, you can go to font. Um, I usually like the Arial Calibri if I want something um, thicker than what I have here. Uh, so I pick Arial, I'm sorry, Arial Black. That's what I pick. And then you can choose whatever color you want. I will randomly just choose, let's say, green. Right, let's pick this green, for example. You can pick anything you want. And then here, here you have it, right? And that gets applied to the whole document, right? All the documents, including the first page, right? Now, this is for text, right? Now, let me just mention one more thing here. Um, you see how it says semi transparent? Well, if I remove that, you would see how this color will change uh, basically it will just make it darker right so semi-transparent is lighter color of whatever you pick okay let's see the example of picture watermark what if I want to have picture watermark in my document okay let me click on no watermark so I can remove all the text that I have applied so far and I'm gonna go to picture watermark I select that I select select picture and since I have the image already in my computer I select work offline and then I know what picture I want which is star one and I can insert the image and then after that I just click on apply right and that's my image you see it here um, I can close this one and it gets applied to the whole document now, again, same thing like text. You have this washout, which, which is just uh, about how dark the color of your image on your watermark. So if I unselect washout and I apply, now you see the image is much darker. Now you need to be careful here because when you unselect washout, the image is darker or maybe sometimes it's harder to read the text right and then you have also the option of um, changing the scale of the image right so if I select 200 right that's that's gonna be a lot larger than you know than before if this is just a logo then maybe I pick 50% and I apply it and then and then here it is right now 
What if you want to change the location of this watermark? If you go here and you try to, you know, click on the image, you can move it, right? So what you need to do is go somewhere here on the top and double click, right? That opens the header as if you want to write a header. And when you do that, then you can go to the image. You see how the cursor change from a row to that plus sign and then I can move it anywhere I want right so if I want to to have this watermark picture on the top left corner I can do that and just click on the word document after that and then here you have it right that's my watermark so I um, hope you liked my tutorial and I will see you in my next video. It will be also about watermark, but this time it will be about putting watermarks on selected pages, not throughout the whole document, but just some, some pages. So I will see you in my next movie. Thank you very much.